Hey Vince, little Vince. Um, just got your parts in. This is your new harmonic balancer. Brand spanking new. This is your new bolt. Brand new. Well, I got the Woodrow key and look what it looks like. This is the woodruff key that should be in there that lines, you see that little slot right there? Lines this with the crank. And I'm gonna show you what happened to the crank. Um, and this is the engine mount I was telling you. It's broken, it just like wants to pull out. And I'm gonna show you the one on the bottom. So you got an upper and a lower driver's side engine now. <laughs> this is that one. <laughs> it was not like that in the it was not like that in the this would be on the warranty on the invoice you guys gave to that used car dealer when we put this motor in. Did just wondering if you guys got that invoice back so I could look up the warranty and I can at least replace this one on warranty, it's lifetime. So if you guys can look into that. And also, I want you to see the damage that was caused by the crank, on the crank. Okay, you see how ni one's nice and sharp? And this side is all beat the heck. And you see that wood drift key back there? This, it's been sheared off. So what that's telling me now is I have to disassemble the whole timing. Take the belt off, the idler pulleys, the timing covers, upper and lower. To fish out that broken Woodruff key and replace it with the new one. And then once I got the new one in there, I'm gonna smash down that um, that putty. It's it's like it's two pieces of compound, and when you get the putty, you're supposed to rip a piece off of each one, smash them together real super good, and blend them so they're mixed up real good. And then you're supposed to smear, smear it on there. That way it makes that new corner right there. And supposedly it turns into steel. I've never tried doing it on this type of project. So this is experimental. Uh, usually when you come across a problem like that, uh, even though the engine runs, it's toast because there's no fixing this crank. Either the crank has to be replaced uh, during an engine rebuild, or you just got to put a new motor in it. And I'm sure you guys don't want to do either or, so I'm doing what I can to fix this one, but it's not a guarantee that uh, it won't shear that Woodrow key off again. But I'm going to try everything I can to make it work. Every trick in the book. And now I'm going to double torque it from factory spec so that uh, the uh, harmonic bouncer don't fly off again. And uh, But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see the damage to the crankshaft. When it's like that, um, it's never the same afterwards. But now with this new putty stuff... I'm going to try to get it as close, as perfect as possible. You guys know me. And, um... <clears throat> I'm going to show you the piece that I fished out of the crank. And you know what? Usually when that happens, uh, there's no getting it out of there. I've never seen anybody get it out of there. This is the first time I've seen I was able to get it out. 
Luckily, it was a clean break, and what I did was, uh, once I did grab it, I turned it out, went back in, turned it out, went back in to clean out the threads that were in front of it, because there was about a good, that much thread, that's how far it was in there, and where it broke. So from here in, was still threaded. So I don't know if it came unscrewed, and then flew up, but I had to go back and forth, back and forth to clean up those threads until I got it all the way fully out. But luckily I got this piece out or we wouldn't be able to do crap at all. So I'll do my best to get to your vehicle as fast as I can. But keep in mind, this is not a guaranteed repair. I'm just trying to help you avoid replacing the engine or having it rebuilt, whichever way you decide to go with that okay there's a sick car we're gonna try to get it taken care of and we'll see you when we see you all right peace out